RGB King Gaming. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon. I'm Isaac, here and, Elijah. And I'm Elijah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today, last time, where did we leave off, Isaac? We had just explored Violet City here, and we were about to level up Onyx, which we might be doing in Sprout Tower. Yes, um, because, what, we have to go fight the the gym leader who uses flying-type Pokemon, and we only have... And all our Pokemon stink, except for grass. Yeah. Um, also, we need to catch two more. Yeah, and grass is weak against flying, so... We need to catch Pokemon and level up our current Pokemon, so in order to do that, we're gonna head into here, which we haven't explored yet, the Sprout Tower. Tower. Um, experience the way of Pokemon. So let's go in and experience the way of Pokemon and see what they're talking about. Ooh, I can see why it's called Sprout Tower. Uh, elaborate. The Bell Sprout statues immediately in Okay. The uh, a little bit creepy. Hello, old lady, who are you? A bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. Ooh, that is... Weird. Mmm, a little morbid. Hello. And it's still moving, apparently. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Those two things <clears throat> don't necessarily go together. I get what they're trying to say, but... Um, well, the tower must be really, really wobbly. Yeah. I'm afraid to climb it. Hello. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. And they only kill the giant Pokemon to do it. <laughs> only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Ooh, what an is H an HM, Isaac? HM stands for Hidden mach Machine, which lets you teach your Pokemon moves they can use outside of battle. So like cut to cut down trees, or rock smash to smash through rocks. So what is the difference between an HM and a TM? Well, one... HMs cannot be unlearned unless you go to the move deleter. Um, two HMs can be used as many times as you want, unlike TMs, but they change that in the newer games. But in the older ones, TMs disappear once you use them. HMs don't. And like I said, HMs can be used in the field, actually. Okay. Thank you for that lesson. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Um, however hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Oh, and he wants to battle us. All right, let's see. Very hard, apparently. Yes, very. He has three Pokemon. Hi, Nico. Um, Bell Sprout. Oh boy. What a surprise. We should probably switch Pokemon. You think so? He's gonna have Vine Whip, and we are Rock Ground. He'll do four times the damage to us. Oh, okay. Who should we switch to? Read a. That Sprout. I know. I clicked the wrong button. Well, they look exactly the same in the menu. Go, Rita. Enemy of Bellsprout used Fine Whip. Was not very effective. And... I like how, you know, in the newer ones, Pokemon are also cute and cuddly, and but then these older ones, just look at that dead stare that Bellsprout has. <laughs> I don't... Uh, it's not quite... Uh, the eyes aren't quite big enough to have pupils inside. So, he's just like, they didn't have enough pixels. Save me. For my life of dancing death. And Rocky's level 4. Okay, so Rocky is already leveling up a little bit, which is exactly what we need if we're going to win at the at the gym. So send out Rocky again and then switch him out right away. Okay. So just keep grinding out some levels. Also, as we, I'm sure you'll have another blow sprout, so as we just rinse and repeat this, I actually did some looking up last night. And you are not going to believe what um, the Pokemon currency is. Uh, what is it? Want to guess? Um, I... What the P in the Pokemon currency stands for? <laughs> uh, give me a hint. Okay, think of how um, original names they have, like Dark Cave. Uh... Hmm. Because the Pokemon currency is literally called Pokemon Dollars. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is that is a little more simple than I would have anticipated. Nope. Or in Japanese, it's Poke Dollars, which literally would be Pocket Dollars. Okay, well that makes a little more sense, I guess. 
Um, so yeah, just grinding out some levels. Why this guy caught free bell sprouts and didn't train with them all? We don't know. Well, apparently he thinks he is a good trainer, so... Yes, he's going to battle us mightily. I don't... I'm... I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, I'm just clicking. You don't have to, it's just a rinse and repeat battle at this point. Tackle. Pretty much like the fisherman who has six magic cards. And they don't do anything, do they? Nope, they just splash. So it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Yes, finally! Yay! I think that was the last one. And what? Rocky grew to level 5. What an intense battle. I'm sure the tower shook mightily. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Damn, poor. He didn't even give us 100 polka dollars. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk around here just a little bit. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Let's see what kind of strange beings dwell in the tower. Ah, oh, Ranta. Oh. And we didn't catch this one yet. I think we tried. This was the first Pokemon we tried to catch. Yeah. Okay. So. This ain't nothing because we're a rock. We just tried to headbutt a rock. Hmm. I know we're at only level 5, but considering we're a giant stone dragon, I think a tackle to a rat would do more damage than that. You'd think so. Um, so are we going to want to catch this guy or just faint him? No, we want to catch him. Okay, then one more tackle, or well, this tackle and then a ball. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. A 12. Yep, we spent all our money. It's alright. We'll get plenty. We'll get plenty of Pokemon dollars. Oh, it didn't work. There must be a harder catching mechanic in these older ones than in the newer ones. Yeah. I mean, he's level 5. That should have been... Will this make it any I don't think that will have any effect, really. No. Okay. What we need to do is evolve our... We need to get our Butterfree so he can learn Sleep Powder to put people to sleep and make them really easy yeah. to catch. Yeah, that would be helpful. I'm going to try one more. Just because I think uh, trying to catch them weakens them a little bit. Yes, maybe. it does. It does. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Gotcha, Ratata was caught. Yay, we have a rat. <laughs> the rarest Pokemon of them all. We're going to carry a rat around with us. A rat type uh, one foot high, eight pounds. And now we can call him Annoy Joey all the time. Got our <laughs> Ratata. It eats anything. Wherever food is available, it will settle down and produce offspring continuously. So apparently there's a lot of food in Sprout Tower. Apparently. Give a nickname to Radita. Yes, we are going to call it... It's a girl. Looks more like a fox in that picture, but okay. We're just going to call it Rat. Perfect. A plus. <laughs> How do we get to that... Giant Pokeball over there that's larger than me. We're gonna have to, I'm guessing, explore the tower more. Now, is it worth battling this Pokemon? Probably. Oh, yeah. Get the experience, man. We need it. But we don't want to get Rocky too high, they won't listen to us. But we would probably want to get him up until at least he can learn a rock move. Um, he'll listen to us through level 20, though, won't he? I think so, but above that, or maybe, because we don't have any badges yet. I know that, but, um, but Rita still listens to us, and she is, yeah, but she's or not. he is 11. Yeah, but Rita's not traded. Only trade Pokemon disobey you. Cop Pokemon will obey you no matter what. Oh, okay. Wait. We didn't catch Rita. Well, okay, but Rita has our ID. We're seen as Rita's owner. Oh. Well, that doesn't make sense, because Te technically Rita was traded. Yes, you're right. You are completely right. But apparently the professor did nothing with his Pokemon except store them in balls, because it does not see him as their trainer. Yeah. He's not a trainer, though, is he? No, apparently not. He just, he researches Pokemon. Right. Or claims to, anyway. Right. I know on the show, they showed him having a lot more of a personal impact on the three starter Pokemon, but in this, it's just like, nope, here. This Totale's gonna sit here alone forever now. <laughs> Maybe somebody else will come along and steal it. 
Oh, if only. Rocky is getting up there quick. Oh, I forgot that if you trade a Pokemon, they boost there have a boosted experience. Yep. Hey, a Pokeball. That's nice. Elijah found Perilous Heal. Hey, we can heal our Perilous. <laughs> All of our Perilous will be gone. Oh, is this going to be a trainer battle? Apparently. Also, do you think in the world of Pokemon where they have these instant health machines, they have medicine equal for humans? Or do they put all that funding into just curing their Pokemon? Um... I think... I think they would have to have it for humans, too, don't you? I don't know. They seem to care more about Pokemon than humans. I mean, they don't even have roads between most cities. Um, aren't, uh, aren't humans a type of Pokemon, though, according to the Pokemon series? Uh, kind of. Isn't that what they would claim? Uh, I suppose. Again, I don't 100% remember that mythos. I think it was... Was that black and white that went into that in a lot more detail? I didn't play black and white, so I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, it seems like it seems like if it works on Pokemon, it would work on people, right? You would think that, but we can't catch people in Pokemon balls. I don't know. That's just weird. Okay, we want to switch out to Rocky, right? Yeah, or um, free pie. We can be raising free pie up too if we wanted. Like I said, we. Need what it. level does does that evolve at? And these, oh, I think um, free pie would evolve at. I'm gonna say level seven and level ten, or it might be level seven, level twelve. But I, like I said, I'm more used to the. I've been playing the newer ones a lot, Pokemon Showdown and such, and I'm not 100% sure on what the changes were since the second generation. Okay. Cause, I mean, it's been years. Yeah. So, uh... Because I know currently it's 7 and then 10 for a Butterfree. So what does it evolve into at level 7? Metapod. Oh. I'm not looking forward to that. No, no one ever does. Getting a Butterfree is a long pain for <laughs> this early in the game. But so what is a Butterfree useful for? How are they... Well, for one, they get confusion right away, which this early in the game there's almost nothing that can resist it. Even with the addition of dark Pokemon. And does it... Can it use poison? Yep, and it can learn para like Paralyze and Poison and Sleep Powder to spread stats around. So it's really used for helping catch Pokemon. Okay. And like I said, that um, confusion attack helps... It cut through a lot of things that... Um, other, your other Pokemon may have problems with. Like if you chose Charmander in the first game, basically you needed a Butterfree to beat Brock. Who was Brock? Brock was the first gym leader in the very first games. He okay. was a rock gym leader. I, I played those games before, but I, you know, I don't remember very much. And I never got all the way through. This is the only Pokemon game that I actually finished. Well, this is usually rated as the best one. Really? Yeah. A lot of people remember Gold and Silver fondly. Oh. As in, the first one was amazing, but this one perfected everything. Personally, but this is just on a personal note, I prefer the original Ruby and Sapphire as my preferred Pokemon games. But okay. I can see why people say that about Gold and Silver. They're good games. Oh, also, I was wondering, um... What exactly is our goal for the series? Because I know, you know, you've said in the earlier one videos that you're not going to try and catch all the Pokemon, but are we trying to become the champion? Are we trying to defeat Red? Or what's your end goal here? Um, I think we're trying to become the champion. Okay, but then are we not going to go back and fight the original ancient leaders or in, in Kanto? Um, we or might. Uh, we don't have to plan that far ahead. Okay. I guess it depends on how much our viewers uh, want us to continue, so right. um, let us know what they like or a subscription to let us know that you want us to continue. 
And hey, that comment box is looking nice, full, and inviting. <laughs> Open, lots of room, gets easily noticed. Yeah. And at this point, we will probably personally respond to all of your comments. Yeah, also be the perfect time if there's any future games you want to suggest us playing. We're open to that idea. Yeah, we're trying to dis we're trying to decide which game we want to play next. Right, because we don't want to so. only be playing Pokemon. We want to have like at least two different series going at a time. Right. After all, I'm sure you all don't want to see us battle Bell Sprouts only. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I want to level up Rocky just for the time being so that he's powerful enough to beat Faulkner. Right, that's a good idea. Like, we, I don't think we've got some uh, rock attack yet. No. Also, I love how angry our Rocky looks. <laughs> he's like, I am going to do it. I will kill you all. Thing is, I think he looks like that even though even when he's about to die. Oh, yeah, we're saying him out and then we're just returning him right away. He's like, <laughs> I'm ready! Nope. Denied. Do they actually ever do that on the Pokemon TV show? No, I don't think they ever. They don't have experience or levels on the Pokemon TV really? show. Really? They change a lot of things for huh. that. So if they don't have levels, what determines the strength of a Pokemon? Basically how hard the trainer roots them on, it seems. Oh, okay. Doesn't Ash always win? Uh... <laughs> in the original series, he actually lost the Pokemon League, but I think in the more recent stuff, he's a lot more overpowered. Rita learned Reflect. What's that? Reflect it, the move back at the person? That, the, no, that's... Opponent? Reflect, like, raises your entire team's defense for several turns, so even if Rita was switched out or something. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I probably won't be using that very much. No, it's better than Grawl, but unless you're playing... Like, it's more useful in the metagame against other trainers, but here in the single player, then no, it's not worth much. That way you can be dealing out actual damage. Yeah, usually I would... I used to only play uh, moves that actually did <clears throat> damage. But I guess other moves can, you know, if you're strategic about it, they can be useful. Oh yeah, well like I said, you want to like... Oh, here's our berry. But yeah, like in the meta game, it's a lot more of that. Like, you know, things like Sword Dance, which double your attack and so forth are popular. Protect's useful. Um, but yeah, but here in the single player, usually only if stats effect to put somebody to sleep and then basically your attack moves will get you through everything. Oh, I'm weak. Yes, you are. He... Also, they all have the exact same amount of coin to give away. Really? I didn't notice. We've been getting $96, it seems. Um, we have to end the episode here, so we're going to end here, but next time we're going to continue on <laughs> with, um, with climbing up to the top of Sprout Tower and training up our Pokemon so we can take on the gym Falconer. here in Violet City. Yes. And maybe find that giant Pokeball. Yeah. We'll get to it eventually. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the yes. next video. Thanks, guys.